I got it! It's a puffer fish! Yes! Look at that cute little puffer fish! Filming underwater in Florida for me has been an absolute blast, especially because of the clear water and all the fish. After finishing up filming the oyster fish, I decided to go towards the end of the dock to film some of the other fish for the video. There were ladyfish, mangrove snapper, and all kinds of different fish. And right after that, we got to film something I had never caught before. I got it! It's a puffer fish! Yes! Look at it! Look at that cute little puffer fish! I have never caught a puffer fish before, guys. Look at him. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's got little horns on him, too. All right, guys, this is actually a spiny box puffer fish. Look at that. That is amazing. Look at how small he is, too. But they do get quite a bit bigger than this. They get about six inches long, so this is still considered a little one. Look at all those little stripes. He's got all these little yellow and brown stripes all over him. And look at him swimming in circles in the net. Now, their most famous defense is how they can puff up. And I really hope he can show us that today. But really, them puffing up is a last resort. It's their last resort defense. Normally, they'll try to swim away and hide from things. And the only reason that they try to puff up is if they really think that their life is in danger. Right now, he's pretty relaxed. He's like, oh, I can't get out of this little net. He's kind of confused, but he's not really stressed at all right now. He's just kind of swimming around all cute-like. Now, these little guys are actually omnivorous. They'll eat pretty much anything that they can get. They like little crustaceans and all kinds of little corals. They actually have a really sharp beak. They have a little beak inside their mouth for munching on corals and all kinds of little algaes and stuff. But they'll also eat little crabs and shrimp. And sometimes they'll even eat smaller fish when they get big enough, when they get to that full-grown six-inch size. This little guy wouldn't be able to eat too many other fish right now, but when they get bigger, they can. They actually become a little bit of a predator. He's cute, and he's got two little squishy horns on top of his head. I'm not sure what those are for, either camouflage or feeling around. I'm not sure, but they look like little, uh, little horns, but they're very squishy. Now you can see he's actually pretty slow. They've kind of got a weird build to him where they got tiny fins and a big body. But some of their main defenses are actually these spines. They have all these little spines all over them. And while they're not sharp right now, when he puffs up, those become really sharp. And they can actually stick into things and envenomate them. They have a little neurotoxic venom all over them. And that can really hurt things. And sometimes if things will eat them and they puff up, it can actually kill them. And they're also poisonous without that. So basically, if either way, if you were to eat this puffer fish, it would kill you. So not a lot of things are able to eat these puffer fish. Now, even though they are technically poisonous and they do have all these little spines on them, there are actually a couple of things that can eat these guys. One thing that would eat, be able to eat one of this size is called a lizard fish. And lizard fish are really, really small little predator fish. And they're very, very aggressive. And they can actually tolerate the poison and the spines of these little puffer fish. So they're one thing that can eat them. And another thing is sharks. Many sharks will actually resist that as well as be able to pop them with those sharp teeth. So those are some of their very few predators. But when you think about all the fish that there are, they really don't have that many predators. Now, if you ever see one of these guys, you can definitely scoop them up. You just got to make sure you're careful with them. But this is actually a very tough fish. Guys, this fish could be out of the water for quite some time and still be okay. And even though they kind of are like a squishy blob when you take them out the water, they actually are a very tough fish, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.